All right, welcome back to Hoi 4 Millennium Dawn A to Z. Uh, <laughs> today we're playing as Bahrain. I just, I don't think there's any sign of relief in the upcoming weeks for Millennium Dawn A to Z. This is horrible, man. Just one province nations after one province nations. I also just noticed we seem to have a focus tree. Where do I get factories? That's what I need more than anything right now. Oh, hey, at least we get one military factory. We managed to get 4.5 gen fighters, but we, we can't get 1975 infantry weapons. What the fuck? So we have only 600,000 core manpower, which isn't good. I mean, perhaps if we maybe get enough focuses done. We, we can get like manpower, we can get equipment, we can get factories. I don't, I don't know, man. Okay, so I guess the uh, Saudis decided to propose this thing. It's like guarantee sort of thing. I don't know if I want to agree to this. I'm gonna refuse. Oh wait, we have, we have ships? No way. Do these guys have ships? Oh, Qatar, you're looking very vulnerable, buddy. Jesus Christ, look at all these decisions you've got here, dude. I, I don't think I've ever seen a country in, in, in the, the whole game of Hoi 4. No matter what mod, have this much decisions. Holy shit. More decisions than square miles in Bahrain, I'll tell you that much. The terrorists, they're, they're growing stronger. Oh no, it's totally not what I want at all. That's not, that's totally not the focus tree I'm currently going down. Don't mind me, guys. Saudi Arabia, you can look away. I am not gonna threaten any of your countries at all. So I'm spending a billion dollars on this focus. And all it does is increase the Yemen's terror threat. That kind of seems like a waste of money. I think, I think they're gonna be able to do that by themselves. There's no need for us to invest in their terrorism. Bahraini's stock market is booming. The Bahraini people are trading stocks like they are shopping for food. Hang on a minute. We're in a desert. Shopping for food? And if that was the case, we'd be in a depression. That's, that's just what it is. Hey, George Bush is actually funding our little alliance here. Bush coming in clutch to fund us. Maybe without knowing, he's gonna fund some terrorism in the future. Ha ha ha. He hasn't done that before, guys. Well, what do you guys say? Should we become a uh, terrorist state? Oh my god, you, like every country in the fucking world just decides to hate you at the same time. This sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I, I, sh I maybe it would be a good idea to clarify. I don't endorse people that I become in Millennium Dawn A to Z. I hope you guys know that already. I don't actually believe in these countries' ideologies. I just, I just go with the flow, man. Whatever focus tree, whatever gives me war goals is what I usually do, okay? I'm not a fascist. I'm not a terrorist. Believe me. Oh my god, yes. Iran coming in hot with the civilian industry. It's about time I can actually build something in this godforsaken island. Okay, so now we're the edgy empire. For now, we're just gonna... Get our civilian factories, I think. Because we need we need to build something. We need to get an actual economy here. I don't really have anything. I'm just losing my... Bro. This happened as Azerbaijan. And now it's happy as Bahrain. I changed my ideology to this one. And out of nowhere, we just start losing money like a fucking... Fire hydrant loses water when you run over it. It's like we're orgasming the economy away. It's so weird. I don't know why it does that. Like, what the heck? It just doubled. Is it international investments? Did we lose that? I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm so confused. Is it because our expenses went up through the heavens? No, it's because our... No, we were making a lot more money than that, dude. We were making like a hundred... One, like 0.17. Where the fuck did it all go? What the fuck? I, mean, I, guess, I guess we got an economic boom now because the game felt bad for me. But uh, where did my income go? Support the entertainment industry. You're telling me that I have to go into debt and build an entertainment industry before I can make factories. I have to entertain. This country's priorities, man, they're so backwards. They're now that we build an entertainment industry that's so important that we can we can finally build ourselves a civ factory. I almost forgot we were actually justifying Qatar for a second, I'm not gonna lie. No, I don't even have convoys research. Jesus Christ. 3G, you can wait. My citizens don't need Wi-Fi. What we need is convoys. Went into complete debt, but we got civilian factories now. How much money we... Oh my god, why are we losing so much money? Ah, uh, yes. Here's the fastest way to get cancelled on the internet. Traditional gender roles. Cancelled speedrun. World record right here. I'm going for it. Going all the way. Traditional gender roles. What's next? I don't know. There we go. Maintain tradition. There we go. Uh, aggressive nationalism. 
Boom. There we go. Probably canceled just like that. World record. Oh, fuck. You had to do it right before my war justification finished. Oh, my God. God, man. Why aren't I part of this anymore? Is it because I visit because I went edgy mode? Is that why? Okay, dude, this microphone is just starting to be a little bitch now, too. This is the second time today. It's just randomly decided to disconnect itself. Like, obviously, it's not ripping the wires out by itself, but like, it really just randomly decides to, oh, I don't think I want to connect to the computer anymore. It just completely unregisters itself. So I have to unplug it back in. Replug it back in. We start o Streamlabs OBS all the time. This microphone needs to stop being a fucking bitch. Bring it on, big boy. With that, let's just let's just let them walk in. I want to see if they're gonna puppet me. They did puppet me. Do I want to still be in the game? I'm still this religion. No. I'm just gonna restart as a completely different ideology, and then we're gonna have more fun. All right, now we know not to go down the edgy side of the focus tree. We'll just be a normal boy and keep things the way they're supposed to be. All right, so this time I think we're gonna accept this little proposal thing. I guess someone didn't accept it, but we're gonna keep accepting that till it actually works. Cause like I'm, while I'm part of the fucking council there, the Saudi Arabians, little Arabian, I, what do you even call it? I don't know. Might as well try to get guaranteed by all of them. And that way, if I ever get kicked out, I still have all their guarantees and they uh, cannot defend their members against me. That would be fantastic. Man, I wish this sandstorm was real. That way, the sick could get onto my eyes and I'd be blinded from this mess I have to play. Oh, I dream. This has got to be the stupidest part of any focus tree ever. I don't know why I have to spend $15 billion dollars build an entertainment industry before I can actually make a normal industry like dude you want me to make Hollywood without the machines needed to make Hollywood it makes no sense you know guys I have had to go to great measures in order to cope with the stress that this mod puts on to me uh, my roommate a couple weeks ago went into the bathroom some weird spider-man dude was hanging out there he gave him a stress ball I have a stress ball now yeah I took it from him because I, I need it way more to be honest he may have school, but I have blamed on A to Z. And now I just throw it around at the wall, distract myself from the pain and suffering. This ball is the only reason I'm gonna survive. Dude, you get a hundred billion dollars for a folk? Why so much money? Oh, I know why. So you can make up for the entertainment industry that was so important. Just pay it back off of Saudi Arabia. No one cares. No one's gonna be like, oh my god, the 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 brainy the brainy wood. Oh my god. Like who the hell was ever gonna say that? I I cannot imagine a cringy white teenage female going, Oh my god, have you seen the latest Brainwood movie? Do you know how stupid this sounds? Oh hey, I didn't know they had an Elon Musk path. Interest. Why is there the White House? Maybe that's not the White House, but it looks eerily like it. Uh oh, we're growing more socially conservative. I, I, I might get cancelled. Oh shit. Oh heavens, this is not good. I'm gonna get cancelled on the Twitter app. Or even worse, maybe, maybe, maybe the Reddit. No! How, how am I gonna post my 50 million division circlements now? No! God damn it, a drought. Oh, look. Look, guys, look at this drought. That is quite the drought if you, if you look here. I mean, oh, shit. I'm sorry, farmers. Oh, come on, Brian. You don't even know what camouflage is? Don't be one of those people. I don't know how people don't know how to paint their clothes the colors of their surroundings. And it shouldn't take two years to research how to do it either. I don't get it. I don't get why you're so stupid and don't know what the fuck it means. And now our build slots are maxed out. Way to go. Uh, I don't know what the fuck to build now. Do we just... Do Should we just stop going to the troops? Is this thing fucking retarded? Literally, it feels like you're poking a hornet's nest in order to build these things. It's so stupid. Minimum wage is way too costly. I mean, look at that business owner's opinion. It's just horrific. And I don't need to go anywhere, so I, frankly, I think the better idea here is to start doing military affairs. For old tension is finally rising up to 15%, it is time for Brain to expand into the, uh, the Persian Gulf, create a Persian Gulf em Empire thing. But hey, look at that, we have our guarantees now. 
So I guess we can declare war on anybody here and it won't be an issue. Oh shit, democracies can't just by war goes against countries that are not generated will <laughs> What the, what do I do then? Is there where I can get war goals maybe? I didn't, mm -hmm. I don't think I'm even gonna have any war goals. What the heck? I ain't gonna lie with you, dude. I'm becoming kind of tempted now to just wait for it to hit 15% and then just enable war goals. Look at that. The oil actually... Oh my god, the oil. Oh, <laughs> the oil focus is carrying my country now. I was wondering how I was making so much money. The oil export is like 80% of my income now. I was losing a good amount of money before, and now I'm making a good amount. Yes, finally, we learned how to paint our clothes the same way as the ground. We're advancing as a society, now we can learn to paint it the same way as the, voil the foliage, and the trees, and the bushes. Bro, why is the whole tension going down? It's we're getting like 2,506 territory. We should be seeing skyrocketing world tension. This right now is just a fat scam and a half. Somebody in this world fight someone else bush my dude fight iraq pretty please oh finally some actual war it's only against belarus though look now i'm just trying to play nice to me oh don't be mad mean bean you have an economic boost I pro and you're just gonna probably take it away in about two months. Well, since Iraq has somehow managed to live up until this point, and I don't think the game expects it because now we're having the ability to send missions to Iraq. They shouldn't be alive, but they've been alive for so long that they're starting to be taken over by terrorists. It's like the game's backup failsafe that it doesn't expect to ever use. And now I'm getting, now I'm benefiting off of it. Well, now that we have hit 15% more tension, I'm considering possibility of just enabling war goals with commands i know it's a very naughty thing to do and i would really did not want to do it in complete honesty i swear i don't think there's even a way to switch off a democracy here all right it's 16 percent world tension i can't change government but what i can do is become a stupid little bitch what the fuck this ain't joe who the hell i don't know who the hell that is allowed i think that's the command yeah, okay. All we're, we're gonna do is justify. Turn that son of a bitch off. I mean, some may consider that cheating, but I consider it actually having some gameplay in the next 20 million years. Hey, wh what do you know? I fucking called it. Stupid little bitches killing my civilians because we don't know how to counter terrorist threats. <laughs> oh my fucking god. If, if it fails again, we get into the 30s. I am going to be absolutely livid. <laughs> It doesn't stop, does it? How much chance? 40% chance of success. Bull fucking shit. That's the equivalent of me saying I have a 40% chance of getting a girlfriend tomorrow. All right, about fucking time that finished. Okay, good. I don't have to do a lot of Diplo again to declare the war. Well, let's see how this goes. Holy shit, they have a lot of divisions. They actually have enough to guard every tile. That's kind of scary. 75. Dude, that tank does nothing. And I don't know why. That is one of the weakest tank divisions I've ever seen. Honestly, I'm... I should probably just fucking delete and replace it with, like, another infantry fighter or something. Because that is embarrassing for a tank. Hang on a minute. I just remembered something. I have planes and they don't. <laughs> it was a standstill. Dude. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> this game is so toxic. I noticed they're not really trying to reinforce something. Now they are. My god. What the fuck? The infantry just wrecked my whole army. Oh my. Their manpower went up monstrously. Did they fucking buy a division? What a bunch of cocks. You know what? You want to play that game? We can play that game, big boy. Yeah, oh yeah, he did. Constellus. Yeah, he, he's a cock. So, um, we're gonna have to hire some Blackwater infantry, I think. I mean, two can play the same game, big boy. There we go. Got the big daddy Blackwater division right there. I like to see them fight this. How big is it, anyway? Oh, shit. It's smaller than theirs. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know how an infantry is so fucking jacked. Come on. Ha ha, you fucking loser. Take that. Oh, I just, I just realized we... Yeah, we don't have a port here. Nice. Oh, hey, did they think they ran out of money so they couldn't keep afford to keep it anymore? Ha ha ha! That's what you get. Lose all your money. How does it feel? You don't have your stupid hired bitch-ass division anymore. Suddenly it's hard to win now, isn't it? 
Oh, cry me a fucking river, little bitch. Get out of here. Now, don't mind my rage too much. It, it just happens, you know. On the bright side, with that division dead now, I also disband the Blackwater unit because that thing costs a shit ton. Um, look at that. We're making a lot of money, actually. Like, 0.6 billion. That's neat. I can actually core these people up. Let's go. Wait, does that mean if I can influence Bar these people? Ooh. That just unlocked some true potential. If that's the case... Why go to war if I can just annex these people through puppeting? All right, I guess I get to stare at diplomacy screens for the next 500 years. Well, this is a little awkward. I was quite literally just raging at the game's stupid terrorism mechanics for the past six, seven months of game time. And I didn't even realize Streamlabs decided to yeet itself off of existence because it had to update. I literally have been raging to myself without even realizing it. How do you think I'm supposed to feel about that? Quite embarrassed, but yeah, as I was saying, never a fucking Again, am I doing these mechanics? How'd you go democratic with 19% conservative? You did that just because you knew I was gonna coup you. How can you convince me this game isn't out for me? They are 20% democratic. Hey, they're asking for a $154 billion. The hell with it. Let's just, let's roll the dice. Probably nothing good. They'll probably like use some fucking AI hacks and like lower it down to what it was before again. If that's the case, we can sure as hell annex you with console if you're going to be like that, buddy. I've got cheats too and mine work way more efficiently than yours. To be honest, I don't even know how much time has passed since the last time I hit the record button. This, this influencing thing just kind of makes you lose track of time. You kind of get sleepy. But uh, yeah, it's so boring i'm just letting you know i'm kind of watching just random live pd videos while i wait for the influence to recharge itself the soviet union just declared on belarus for the second oh that's a very real life scenario we might not want to joke about that one i'm dancing on eggshells with cancellation already by playing as a country of terrorism. Let's not risk it by commentating on a real life situation. I am so close to getting my first puppet. It's been so long. So much YouTube videos I've already gone through waiting for this shit. And it finally might happen for one of the three countries I'm trying to influence. Oh my god. Brain! Stop blowing my influence every single month. It's supposed to take at least a couple months for the effects to happen. No, not with the AI. It's just going to deplete like... <laughs> what the hell? I've been influencing for the past 45 minutes. Let me win for once. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, they ask for bailout? I'm in debt like crazy, but... Gotta get that sweet puppet, baby. Fuck you. Get out of here, crooked nose man. Oh shit, I just remember I didn't ever do the coup on Saudi Arabia. Well, uh, I guess we can try now. 52% chance of successful coup. Let's hope that happens. I don't think it just happened. Didn't that have the least chance of happening? Now it's 53% chance of a failed coup. <laughs> One more. Come on. Did I get defeated three for three? Fuck off. No. Let's just, let's try it without the... I guess the original leader's dead, but if 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 this side wins, now I'm gonna restart because he's got no influence with me. Frankly, I don't want to deal with that. It's actually going to lose. Un freaking believable. I'm not even gonna sit here to entertain this. There we go. That time we got into the Republic. Thank fully. Yes. One more press. One more press. Come on. Yes. There you go. Now we got twins. <laughs> This game is so cheesy, dude. All right, I just, I, I, I guess that went faster than I thought and we annexed the UAE and our army's like tripled in size. Look at that. And we're making money, baby. That's what we're talking about. We're actually getting somewhere with this now. I can smell the puppeting in the air. There we go. Pause, boom, bam. Get the fuck out. All right, there's our chunky 400 political power. Damn, that is a lot to spend on one annex. But I think it's worth it. They got quite a bit of shit for me to take. Dude, what the heck? Why? How did Myanmar take out Thailand? This is an embarrassment. You, you let Myanmar completely destroy your ass. Okay, so Myanmar can't destroy all these stupid saddle, like these stupid rebel states, but they can destroy you. You're pathetic. All right, so there's one thing about this game right now is bothering me. And it's not the fact that the U.S. is in a cold war against all of 
Europe, basically. Look who's still alive in the year 2012. I just, this can't be allowed, man. So you know what? We're gonna have to allow the Diplo again. I know it's technically cheating. 150 days, eh, that's fine. I, I, want, I need to take out the madman. <laughs> He needs to go. And there goes Oman. There we go. Now we got the big boy Arabia uh, annex. Why am I not getting their debt? I don't know why I'm not inheriting their debt anymore. I inherited the UAEs, I'm pretty sure. But these two just decided to drop their debt. I mean, I guess that's nice. Makes things a lot easier. I still love how, like, our entire economy is literally just selling petroleum. If we did have petroleum, we would be broke as hell. The oil carries, man. Hey, we can do a George Bush's job for him because I guess for some reason, George Bush just didn't want to fucking fight today. All right, I, I'm scared because of the men they have, but let's just go on the attack. Hopefully the Air Force carries. Okay, good. The Air Force is a uh, carry me in the South. We are inheriting the spiritual powers of the Bush family. I ask for your power just this once. Oh look, they're last standing. If only last stand was over more overpowered than the Air Force in this game. Guess what, it isn't. I wonder how much ground attack we actually have. 27, that's not even that bad to be honest. Alrighty, we're starting to get some breakthroughs over here. But Jesus, man, this is like trench warfare. This is bad. Thank God I upgraded some of my templates before going into this, because this is brutal dude i noticed when you go to wars in this game that your debt like skyrockets like it just suddenly like goes up by a ton i was making 3.5 billion dollars or so before this war now i'm losing 9.6 billion bro what the fuck is this weird frontline glitch why isn't it it won't let me extend it for some reason it's stupid being stupid right now i need to get this over with and you're just starting to act sped on me this is not an ideal game oh that's right that's the gate to baghdad let's go 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 Ooh, there we go. We're at the gates of Baghdad, baby. Dude, their last stand is really not making a difference, is it? Holy shit. So, yeah, either it's stagnation or we're just completely destroying them either way, regardless of if they last stand or not. But hey, that's what happens when you inherit the spirits of American imperialism. I have the power of George Bush with me. All right, Baghdad's gonna get in circle here. I don't think there's just any other way to put it, man. Ooh. There we go, Baghdad down. Look at that. You just got completely creamed by the superior brain military and air force. Okay, let's just see if we can beeline to Mosul. I don't know if they're gonna let me do that so easily, but. So no, don't reinforce it. God damn it. Their whole army's going there. Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Ooh. Get out of here. That's what I thought, nerd. With the power of George Bush's morale and spirit, Iraq is mine. All right, one more thing before we go. Somebody here needs to go if we want to unify Arabia. I can't just leave the video without unifying the damn peninsula, man. Oh, yeah, look at that red box syndrome. This is gonna be a really fun one, I can tell already. Well, luckily, Yemen's got almost zero men in the field, so this should thankfully be a cakewalk. A war justification complete. Time to dot. Who are you guaranteed by? Indonesia? Do I really care about Indonesia? Not really. Most pointless guarantee ever. I'm pretty sure I could kill Indonesia if I really wanted to. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, actually, oh, they trained up an army. Okay. Well, in that case, we might want to capitulate these guys before they arrive. Take the capital. Don't don't give the Indonesians a chance. Just take that. And they won't have any ports. I oh, don't know. They have a port still. Take the ports! There's The Yemenis are... Oh, okay. Good. Good, good, good. There we go. Arabia unified. Except for U.S. bases, but I don't count that. Ar U Arabia is unified. Just shut up. Look at that beautiful country. Makes me makes me hard, man. Bahrain, you had a rough start, but you came back in the end. You're not that bad of a country if you allow dip all Diplo actions. Uh. So yeah, see ya.